I'm not someone who you consider a romantic. I don't really like romance novels. I don't like romance anime. I don't like Slave of Life anime. But there's one exception. And it's something that I literally just finished before I turned the fucking camera on. And it is this movie. Your Name. I'm trying to cover the library thing. Uh, yeah, Your Name. Which is a fucking awesome movie. It's also like a romance drama. And it's fucking awesome. I really liked it. I went in thinking I wasn't going to like it, that I was going to stop it at some point and not finish it. But I finished the entire hour and 46 fucking minutes. And I'm happy that I did, because this movie actually is really fucking good. If you haven't seen it, go fucking watch it. You know, maybe your local library has your name. You know, that's how I fucking watched it. I saw that the fucking local library had it. And I was like, when the fuck else am I going to watch this shit? So I requested it. And I don't even know how, how my library ended up getting this fucking movie. You know, my area isn't what you would consider an otaku or anime fan fucking mecca. You know, it's, it's kind of like a boondoggle fucking middle of, you know, middle of the woods town. I didn't think anybody would fucking want to watch this movie, so but they fucking requested it to have it at the library, and they fucking had it, and I watched it, and I'm happy they did. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have watched this if I... You know, downloaded it. Or if I had to download it. You know, I honestly wouldn't have. Because, you know, I just... It's not my cup of tea. But... I'm glad I watched it. And I'm glad I watched it on Blu-ray. Because it's fucking insanely gorgeous on Blu-ray. <laughs> and I'm getting paid to fucking say this. I'm just genuinely awed. Because this is the first time I'm watching anime on a Blu-ray. You know, I have anime on DVD, but I don't have any on Blu-ray. I hope to change that when, hopefully, I get the job I applied for, so I can actually buy some anime Blu-ray, you know, collections. Um, because it's fucking awesome. To see on, you know, on, uh, what the fuck is the word? Like, unstreamed anime. Like, full quality anime. On a Blu-ray. It's so much better than watching it on Netflix. It really is. You know, it's... It seriously blew my fucking... This is why it has so many fucking, like, uh, awards. It's like Best Animated Feature, LA Film Critics Association Awards. Best Animated Film... Uh, I was trying to... Me being the fucking idiot, I was trying to, you know, expand it like you would have phone. Uh, Animation of the Year nominee. Japan, uh, Japan Academy Prize. It's just fucking. It's just. It's awesome. It really is. I haven't been this happy about a fucking movie. I haven't been this moved by a fucking movie since Grave of the Fire fucking flies. You know, and that movie made me want to fucking cry. <laughs> and this movie actually made me happy at the end of it. It didn't make me want to fucking slip my goddamn wrist like Grave of the Fireflies. Which I'm not saying it's a bad fucking movie, because it's not a bad movie. It's a fucking great movie, Grave of the Fireflies. But it's fucking depressing. It's super duper depressing. This is like, it has its depressing parts, but, you know, I was never, like, bawling my eyes out during this fucking movie. And 
And I was like, please have a happy ending. Please fucking have a happy ending. Please, 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 please have a happy fucking ending. And it does have a happy ending. And, you know, I'm genuinely fucking happy about that. Like, the last words in the movie are kind, to me, seem kind of forced. Because the name of the movie is Your Name. And the last words in the movie that are spoken by the characters is your name. You know, what? it's like, what is your name? And they say it at the same fucking time. But it's, it's just, it's a super duper good fucking movie. Um, yeah, it's basically what the fuck it is. It's, it's super duper fucking great. Um, but, you know, <sighs> yeah, <sighs> anyway, this movie is a fucking 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, for me, and I'm someone who usually likes blood and gore action fucking anime, and I genuinely fucking loved this fucking movie. I really did. Like, I was just like, yes, a fucking happy ending anime movie. Um, watch the watch the fucking movie. That's the, that's what it boils down to. Watch the fucking movie. Um, hopefully you'll have. A better experience than I did. Maybe you'll feel, you know, they, maybe you'll have like you'll cry at the fucking point when the characters are crying. Maybe, you know, maybe you'll have that great like yes feeling like I did at the end of the fucking movie where it's like yes they fucking met each other in there. Like it's that great fucking thing. You know that, that great feeling of like they went through all this shit together and they're not just gonna be lonely for the rest of their fucking lives. You know. And, like, there's a genuine part where it's, like... Like, I literally was, like... Oh, fuck. And it's when... Uh, the male... Uh, Taki, who's the main, the main male character... Uh, realizes that... The main female character... Has some shit happen to her, and it's, like... Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know? It's a kind of realization. And it's just... Yeah, Seriously, watch the fucking movie. It's 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 a seriously ten out of ten for me. And again, I'm not the fucking target audience for this shit. You know, I'm not generally. Again, I'm not like the person who loves like slice of life, slice of life, or romance anime. But, like I love this fucking movie. So yeah, talk to everybody. Have a wonderful fucking day and go watch your fucking name. All right. Or, you know, if you don't want to search for your name, it's Kimi no Nawa. I'm sure I butchered that Japanese, and I'm fucking sorry, but seriously, go watch this fucking movie. <laughs>